What's good, family? It's your man, the YB, once again. So, your man's Alexander. Very nice, I like. Your wife knows how much I like. You sick, yeah? Just Listen, just in case you forgot. Alexander, very nice, I like. Your wife knows how much I like. Very nice. I feel, very feel. Yeah, you sick. Has given some punkage words of advice. To the UK's fallen. Listen. There's an old saying. There's an old saying within the hip hop culture. Called falling off. Yeah. And listen. Anthony Johnston is the definition. Of the UK's fell off. Former champion. I can't believe it. I was gassed. He had me gassed all the way up. All the way up. Oh, he gonna be he got the potential to be the greatest of all time. Please Lord forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for I have sinned, Lord. Hundred percent. Told you before. Yeah? You might know I'll be a sinner for that one. Yeah? Hundred percent. I mean I've already listen, I'm resigned to the fact that I'll have to answer for the things I've said about Anthony Johnston in the past. He can be the greatest of all time. Wow, it's bad. In all fairness though, I still stand by some of that to some extent. Yeah, if AJ had a Hall of Fame or an all-time great Bonds, yeah? If AJ's Bonds was all-time great level, I think he probably could be a top-tier guy, I ain't gonna lie to you. If he had that pure hunger for the squabbles, like a prime Hollerfield did. Hollerfield loved to squabble. If AJ had that, I'm sorry, I can't see, given his attributes, I can't see how He'd be a, a phenom to beat. I mean, look at Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury doesn't necessarily have all the maximum power and whatever else. But his head has been able to turn a man who's quite aerobic, not exactly very explosive. And look what he's doing. He's doing wonders right now. Arguably the hardest punching heavyweight in the game. But let's be real now. Who punches harder than Fury? Yeah, oops. Anyway, my lesson. The UK's fallen off champion has been punked by Usyk to some extent. He punked him quick, yeah? Telling AJ how it's done. Here we go. Alexander Usyk. I'm not sure if I'm right or not. He's sure. But I saw in round eight, I saw in Anthony John Stewart's eyes that he was feeling himself. Yeah, it was, uh, he was very feels. He's very feel 100%. I saw in Anthony, Anthony John Stewart's eyes that he was very feel. Very feel, I like, I'm very feel 100%. I kept telling myself, unlike AJ, I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I refuse to lose. Because big things were at stake. Yeah, he's telling AJ, listen AJ, I'm letting everyone know how, how you get it done. You ain't have what I have. Yeah, whilst AJ was sitting back, there's a saying within boxing, when people sit back and admire their work. Yeah, one of the biggest sins for offensive boxing is when you sit back and admire your work. You often see it in amateur kind of guys. I mean, to be honest with you, even professionals. Canelo, to some point, to some extent even, he likes to put a big shot out and then sit back and watch the reaction. Admiring his work, which works against bums. But against Bivol, you get counterpunched. Several times within the fight, Canelo would put out a big shot. Normally, that shot would cripple his opponent. So normally, Canelo... Can put one big shot in and then square himself up and admire his work. Bivol was jumping straight back onto him. And that's why at points you saw Canelo almost bamboozled. And afterwards he'd try and stunt it off. Like it didn't just happen. He'd be like putting his hands in the air. Like he didn't just get molly whopped. He got molly whopped. Bottom line. Big molly whopped. Yeah. So whilst AJ was sitting back in the cut. Feeling himself, admiring his work in the ninth round. Your man Usyk 
your man Mr. Very Nice, your man wants to buy your wife for a good price, was plotting. Yeah, big facts. Yusik was plotting up. He stayed plotted up, 100%. He was plotting on the UK's number one faller offer. Plotting on his downfall. Yeah? And that's what great champions do. Great champions don't have one good round and sit back on their laurels, feeling themselves. Great champions, they plot. And they stay plotted up as well. Yeah? That's something AJ does not have. And that's what Usyk's saying here. Usyk's reminding AJ of all the things he is not. Yeah? Whilst you was gassing yourself up, I was getting ready to push your dinner back in. I can't lie to you. Can, can I sit here and tell you that AJ's dinner didn't start to get a peek out? Yeah, let's not forget. After what Fernando... Listen, after the ungodly things Fernando's been doing, it was all the way back up there. After round nine, AJ's dinner finally had a reprieve from what Angel's been doing. And AJ's dinner was just starting to take a, make a peek out. I believe what they call a turtle head, 100%. Yeah, AJ's dinner was just about turtle heading out of his booty. You see, you took that little piece of turtle head and it went straight back in, all the way in as well. And I spoke to people, I spoke to AJ's physician, and he telling me he constipated ever since. Ever since last weekend, AJ has not passed. Yeah, he has not passed no dinner. Because your man you sick, he pushed it all the way back in. AJ blocked up right now. Yeah, I'm hearing AJ. He going to Tesco's, he's sending AKA skins. He's sending all of his jobber team down to Tesco's, down to the pharmacy to get some enemas. Yeah, he need to, you know, 100% to get some enemas and to get some next tablets. Yeah, he needs some tablets right now. He stay constipated. No doubt about it. You sick put back to all his dinner back up, 100%. Yeah, weeks worth of dinner is now pushed in, 100%. And rightfully so. Usyk, against all odds, pulled it off. Small, tiny man, for the first time in history, really. It's got to be said, people, for the first time in history, a man, 10 kilos lighter, molly whopped you. I told you before, AJ single-handedly has undone a million years of alleged evolution. We now know evolution is fake news. Yeah, the strong don't survive. Oops. <laughs> yeah, they just don't. That's what AJ's proved. Because if evolution was true, the biggest and the strongest, I'm sorry, you don't get no bigger and you don't get no buffer than Johnston. Yeah, if this was a case of to the death, AJ would be dead right now. The biggest and the strongest would be all the way dead. And it would be the small little Don who passes on his seed to the next generation. Johnson ain't passing nothing on. He washed up right now. And now after, listen, after pushing your wig back, Usyk found the time to remind you. Yeah? And rightfully so. This is what we need in society. People must be reminded of their floppage. Yeah, AJ, you sat there, thought you was too, too nice, and you'd peaked. You had one good round in the fight, again. And the worst thing is, I remember after AJ fought Pulev, yeah, two dudes, I told everyone, the fight was shit. No, no joke, a whole bag of man, in my comment section, RYB, you're hating RYB, you're being too harsh. RYB never has anything good to say. I said, what? My man had one good round, and it was sloppy at best. It was a sloppy good round. You're in there missing 70% of your punches against Pulev. 50-year-old Pulev, who's slow as molasses. How can a, how can a super athlete like AJ miss 60% of his power punches? And the ones that did land, 30% of them. So basically, 90% of AJ's punches were not clean shots. AJ threw about 40 shots, and about 10% landed clean. No joke. 
Where are they doing that at? And I said at the time. It's all well and good. Oh, but why be? AJ got the stoppage. Listen. It's all well and good getting the stoppage against washed up looking ass Pulev. Curb brat old Lev. Yeah? Curb brat touching chicks who don't want to be touched, Lev. 100%. Yeah? Giving all the kisses out. She don't want to kiss you, you big Nathander looking ass dude. Yeah? The Bulgarian Nathander Wanna be kissing ass. 100%. <laughs> he stay kissing chicks, yeah? He stay on that Me Too flex. Curb brat, Me Too looking ass dude. Old Lev. Now you in there, Mosha bashing. Who Lev? Old Lev. And you're missing 90% of the shots. And then, not only do you miss 90% of the shots, you then end up gassed. The fuck? Needing to take six rounds off. It wasn't the case of, well, why be? He blew his load, missing 90% of his shots against an old static target. He only needed half a round to recover, and then he got the old washed up Nancy looking ass dude out of there. No. AJ blew his load, super inefficient, and then took six rounds to recover. Wow. And of them six rounds, he spent them all shitting his pants. Yeah, bottom line. Running around the ring dancing. It's all back to front. We saw a big buff dude dancing away from Pulev. Oh, and all the AJ fans. Oh, why be it's boxing? Oh, why be you don't appreciate the sweet science? Yeah, no one ever lie. AJ man fans are the worst kind of man fans. Yeah. Oh, why be boxing? Oh, why be he had to increase his IQ because, oops, yeah, I've been saying from, from day. AJ does not need more IQ. And that's the travesty here. AJ's whole shtick here. For him to be the most successful. Super duper basic. It really is one of the most basic strategies. And yet here we are. AJ went from potentially being a Hall of Famer. To now undoing a million. That's AJ's legacy. AJ's legacy is being the first man to undo a million years of evolution. And I hate to say it, but listen, maybe I'm wrong. Tyson Fury is going to go in there and he is going to restore the balance. Yeah. He's going to make he's 100%. God's going to look down and say, damn, thanks for that, Tyson. AJ and Don, a billion years of development. Yeah. Fury's going to go in there. Big as you like. And show you what big men do to small men. Simple as that. And you ain't going to get caught slipping. Anyway, listen. The writing's been on the wall for Johnston. I was telling people. Oh, why be you hating? You hating, you hating. No. I know the game. I know the problems. There ain't no one more qualified to deal with Johnston than the YB. Yeah? You can bring in all the zesty trainers you want. I told you. They're all. Bums. I said that. No one listen again. Robert Garcia is a bum. Angel Fernandez is a bum. And that's what I'm afraid to say. That's what the evidence shows. They're all Monday morning quarterbacking. How can you be training with a man. For a year. And then only have to. All of a sudden Robert Garcia has become. Super philosophical. It's like what? Where was all this philosophy. For the last year. Robert Garcia's got all the great quotes to say. Oh, I could have, would have, should have. What the fuck? What's the point in having a training camp if after the fight, all of a sudden you've got all the great takes to make? AJ should have been more authoritative. Well, what were you doing in training? I don't get that. I don't get it. And I showed you, man, clips. Of what AJ was doing in training. AJ was doing the same shit he always does. In there dancing around. I showed you clips of Lawrence Acoli. Lawrence Acoli was sparring AJ and walking him down. AJ was tiptoeing and dancing around the ring. Robert Garcia's there. It's like. 
no, we need AJ needed to be more aggressive. So why is he sparring and dancing around the ring? Little things like that. But anyway, man, listen. AJ's as good as done in terms of anything serious. Yes, he'll. And that's what I mean. That's why I ain't got no time. That's why I haven't got no respect for AJ. Number one, he ain't bringing the YB in. But number two, it's the fact that he's got no shame. He will now carry on milking the juice out of the situation. Dillian White. He will now sell, basically sell his booty to whoever, to the highest bidder. See, and the worst thing is, Eddie Hearn was he, Eddie Hearn was already trying to line up AJ's booty before he even lost. Do you know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn was on the blower, begging Wilder for the fight. Your man hasn't even lost yet. And you're begging Wilder, you're begging Dillian White. Well, Dillian, Dillian White's as bad as AJ, to be fair. In fact, it's even worse. At least AJ's won something. Dillian to stay talking and, and fighting bums and losing. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them ones, really, for him. Dillian White versus AJ will be categorically Battle of the Bums. That's what it should be called. The Battle of the Bums. The Battle of the Washed Up, Fallen Off Dudes. Overpaid, Washed Up, Fallen Off Dudes. At that. Unbelievable. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? That it's highly likely Dillian White versus AJ. Both men are probably going to earn over 10 million. Can you imagine that? Two dudes with no belts. No good. And they're going to rob the bank. The world's in a mad place. Me and my everyone else struggling. To pay their energy bills. And these two clowns. Are robbing the bank. And that's why I say. Don't, don't. No one should be supporting this crap. Supporting people to turn up. And go through the motions. AJ make 30 million to turn up. And go through the motions. Dillian White. Crying about what's not right. To turn up and get chinned. With one punch. After doing nothing. Listen, Usyk isn't has never been the most explosive, yeah. But listen, Usyk, despite being a smaller man, came back despite not being the most naturally explosive. He had his worst round and came fighting back. That there is character. That there is representing and putting on for something greater than yourself. I don't care what it is country, your pride your family that's what Yusuke is talking about here, he telling AJ listen, whilst you were sitting up there talking about how you love money I was turning up and putting a shift in for something deeper than that and that's why your wig and that's why your dinner got pushed in and that's why mine didn't clown this message was a straight bum to AJ, you best believe it as well. Yeah, big facts. He punk AJ, rightfully so. He stay punking him, and the worst thing is, there was a time I'd have sat there and told you, well, Usyk better be careful running his mouth. You know what I mean? But guess what? Usyk can say whatever he wants. What's Johnston gonna do? Johnston ain't gonna do nothing. A part of him get his ears boxed off, and then throw his toys at the pram, and then when it's nice and safe. Yeah, AJ will get his bonds boxed off for 12 rounds and then when the fight's over and the confrontation's officially over and it's, it's nice and safe again he'll then kick off he'll then all of a sudden find a whole bunch of energy to get smoky with definition of a clown man, big man ting smash that button me too to subscribe no doubt about it 100% 